to my channel so i have just a pretty small grocery haul this week i am doing a lot of stuff out of my pantry so let me tell you my meal plan um you won't see any chicken because i have a lot of chicken in my freezer so i'm doing a lot of chicken this week i have some buffalo sauce that you saw me get in my thrive market haul that posted yesterday so i'm going to do buffalo chicken salads you saw that cilantro lime dressing and marinade also got from thrive market so i'm going to be doing uh, cilantro lime chicken salad and then I'm also doing a barbecue just barbecue chicken and I have some barbecue sauce that I got a couple Thrive Market hauls ago it's just that golden barbecue sauce from Primal Kitchen so I'll be doing some just barbecue chicken and then I'm doing a dirty cauliflower rice which I already have the cauliflower rice I got at Costco the last time I went so really it's just and then we're doing some club sandwiches i'm just going to do some lettuce wrap club sandwiches which i've done before so i'll have some lunch meat in this haul other than that i need to stock up on some dairy stuff because i was out of a lot of cheese and then as usual produce so let me show you the meat that i did pick up i need some ground beef for one of the meals for the family plus you know just to have in the freezer for one of my lunches i thought i could do some burgers or something or maybe over the weekend so i did pick up a four pack of the beef steak burgers from walmart bacon as always so that's all the meat i have everything else in my freezer produce my spring mix has not been tasting very good that i've been getting lately so i just picked up two things of romaine one of them will work really good for those club sandwiches and then plus i just chop it up to make like a chopped side salad or just a chopped salad but i'll need a lot of lettuce this week for all the salads i'm having cilantro for that cilantro lime chicken salad green onions for the salads the celery I believe is for the dirty cauliflower rice and then plus I like to do celery and almond butter or peanut butter and also celery with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning is amazing I'm gonna try to make a cauliflower mac and cheese never made that before so I picked up a head of cauliflower to try to try that zucchini I just like to saute this up or eat it in my salads I think I'm gonna do some jalapeno poppers some bacon ranch jalapeno poppers in my air fryer so I picked up some jalapenos and I also like to put this in the dirty rice um, oh, I need a ground beef for the dirty rice. So that's also what the ground beef is for. Red bell pepper for the dirty rice. I like these little cocktail tomatoes. I put those in my salads. Avocados, you know, I have those just to eat and also in my salads. I've been loving these for a snack lately. One of my new favorite keto snacks has been to cut these in half, put some cream cheese in there, everything but the bagel, and then put a slice of pepperoni on top. That has been my favorite snack lately. Plus, I just like to have those with cream cheese. Again, the, the cucumbers too. I like to have these with cream cheese and everything, but the bagel seasoning, amazing. So I just thought it was a little cucumbers because my bigger ones have been going bad because I haven't been eating them before they go bad. So produce, frozen, just a few frozen things. I just like to pick this up whenever I see it. This is the cauliflower risotto medley. So just in case I don't do that cauliflower mac and cheese or something, this is an easy side if I don't have time to do that other. I just like to keep these in there just in case. I love these skinny green beans. Uh, I get these from Walmart and I like to saute these up with some bacon and a little bit of butter and it is so good that way or just steam them in the microwave, either one. Picked up some ice cream, haven't stocked up for a little bit, a couple weeks. Uh, cookies and cream from Rebel is one of my favorites. Mint chocolate chip also is one of my favorites. Um, this is the Fred Meyer brand or Kroger, whichever one you have in your area. Um, they are always out and they were on sale this week, so they were completely out except for this flavor, which is the French ice cream chocolate chip. Nine net carbs for the entire pint. Cheese, dairy, a lot. So I was out completely out of sliced cheese. You guys know I was raving about this the first time I had it, the hot jalapeno and habanero jack. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you go to Walmart to shop, pick this up, this stuff is so good. Colby Jack, and then I love Havarti cheese. So I picked up some of that. This is kind of a softer cheese. Uh, I first discovered it at Costco. So I just picked those up just to have some sliced cheese on hand. Oh, another dinner that I'm making is chef salads. So I like to just have a block of cheese that is uh, cube that up for the chef salads the colby jack um, i just use this for everything i am working on getting all of my stuff out of the garage that i have not unpacked yet which includes my food processor so i can start shredding my own cheese again but until i do that this weekend this is the first weekend i've had to have time to do that so anyway i picked this up for the cauliflower mac and cheese and for omelets that kind of thing Cream cheese, like I said, I've been loving the cream cheese with the vegetables, plus I'll need this for the jalapenos 
and I think it called for this in another recipe that I'm doing, possibly the mac and cheese, not sure. Heavy cream was for the mac and cheese. I've been kind of missing half and half for coffee once in a while. I used to use it all the time, but I've been kind of missing that, so I just wanna have this as an option um, to have it. Mild queso blanco. I like this with pork rinds or with vegetables, really good. My Walmart just started carrying these organic happy eggs, so I was so excited to see that because normally these are hard to find in my area unless I go to a separate store. So I was really, happy eggs you guys know are one of my favorites. Been loving the sugar-free chai tea. So if you guys did not see um, one of my vlogs that went up this week, I was showed you guys how I make a dirty chai tea, which is the chai tea with coffee. So good. So I've been loving those and I make them iced. And then the only lunch meat I needed, pepperoni for that snack I was telling you about. And then for the club sandwiches and the chef salads, I picked up some oven roasted chicken breast and some black forest uncured ham. This is some stuff I picked up at Fred Meyer. They had my fall blend coffee. If you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know this is my absolute favorite coffee from Starbucks. I love this stuff. These are my new favorite um, granola bars, keto friendly. These are only uh, two net carbs. I love these with yogurt. I eat them with the two good yogurts and this lemon almond, definitely by far my favorite. I've never tried the, I tried the Teton sausages, but I've never tried the uh, hot dogs. So I picked some of those up just to put in the, put in the freezer. Uh, they were on sale for like $2.99, so I couldn't pass them up. Never tried this brand of energy drinks. This is the Celsius. Um, kind of spendy, so I only got one to try it. This is a Fuji apple pear. I'm interested in that. And then I saw these no cow bars. Never tried these. I think this one is three net carbs. This one's four net carbs. They're dairy free. This is the birthday cake. They were on sale for like $1.99, so I just picked them up just to try them. You know, we'll just see what I think. Maybe they have plant protein, which you guys know I am very fond of plant protein. So that is everything, you guys. Um, so stay tuned. Next week, I will have well, I'll have a dinner video up on Monday that will have all the dinners I had last week. And then I will film them again this week, so you guys will see all those ones that I mentioned. Um, I will link any recipes down below in the description box as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.